Hey guys, Elvin Prince here, back with a Vinland Saga Season 1.5, I believe it was, Episode 16. There is some dissonance in the ranks of Askeladd's men. They're beginning to doubt him as his luck is slowly running out. Thorkil has been eating the townsfolk out of house and home, and the girl escaped from the village. They're off to go find the party. Conehead got stabbed through the back. Gonna see how Knut responds to that. And yeah, we've got a bit of an inkling of Askeladd's plans so far. We'll see how those all play out. But at this point, you all know the drill. Stuff down below, do it as you see fit. And without any further ado, let's get started. Oh, looks like we got some bodies. Five. Hey, it's Hedwig. Well, when I say friends with Romans countrymen, lend me your ears. I don't think that's what they mean. Wonderful fire. Oh boy, he's going to be going through it, isn't he? That's going to stain the table. Yes. Very valiant. All an advancement for Askeladd's greater plan. It's wild how just monstrously chunky the blades are widthwise. Yep. Welcome to reality. We got we all have very different priorities. Uh like growing a boat we enter the future backwards, all we see is the scenes of the past. God damn it, I'll one day I'll be able to read the final line. I I really like the transitions of this opening. I'll get around to fully reacting to it one day, but so far that day is not today. Off to Vinland. wonder who did this opening, because I'm fairly certain it's not Survive Said the Prophet. Since I know they did the first opening and Paradox... I listened to it a bunch, Paradox. Uh, don't know what opening it is. Like season 2.5 or 2. Oh, well, that's... Uh, Thorkill Axe. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting seeing how this plays out and whether or not they decide to go through with their coup. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Uh, he's got a feeling of dissonance. Like you said, every man's a slave to something. What the fuck is he barking about? That's a risk he has to take. What's going on here? <laughs> Oof. Well, that's... Yep, they're not. They're not good men. Yep. Oh, God. Are they going to castrate him, or...? Maybe, but... Oh god, what's... Oh god. Uh... Fucking... Yep, not good men. Despite and having something to believe in will really push you to do things beyond normal human comprehension. <laughs> the Picts? Okay. Mm hmm <laughs> Probably a little forcibly. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. Are you enjoying that, Hedwig? Oh god. All right, ears. Well, time to cut and run. Like I said, cut and run, boys. Cut and run. <laughs> Pissed off and cold. <laughs> Really like that coat. <laughs> Leave him to me. Uh, dual wielding Dane axes. Dude's a beast. <laughs> yeah, there's Yep. Yeah. Then do something about it and stop bitching. Oh. Hello, Oscar lad. Get that truth setting in. And now, we're truly going to see the wrath of Askeladd. No shit, you're in trouble. Gonna behead him, or just let him go? Sir, yes, sir. Wonder how many actually left his company. And there you are, spiky head. Thorkel's gonna gut them, isn't he? Disgrace and cowardice. Oh, yeah, fucking hell, man.
He he doesn't care. He should have recognized that. That's a fun looking sword. Just a little. That's fucking hell, man. Okay. Did I have another vision? Booze. What you got going on, Kunt? It's cold as shit. I think he sees a conspiracy forming. True, mo two most trusted people. One will follow him to hell and back. The other will do the same to kill him. Yep. It's betrayal. There's a special place in hell for traitors. Yep.
No, nope. he'll still find a way to stack the deck. You know how he is. And down goes the bridge. Off we go. Horse knows a way to carry the sleigh from Fulgrim's icy home. Well, they're gonna crest the ridge, aren't they? Get moving. And a thousand pikes were flashing by the rising of the moon. Holy shit, that's a pike and a half you got there. Dear fucking god, that's... That's a feat worthy of the sagas. Yep, we need to get moving. What you gonna do here? Oh. There's no guarantee in anything, man. Sometimes you just gotta roll the dice and hope. And here come the traders. Wilbur's going for the booze. Dissonance in the ranks has really gone up. And there's those wild eyes. I love the amount of spears that we have. Pokey weapons are good weapons. If I were to tell you that this ended at 22.55, will you believe me? Right. Really looks like Askeladd's luck is starting to run dry right now. I mean... Well, it is entirely possible. I think he might have underestimated their ability to march by a day or two. Purely because I think with Thorkill really pushing and proper, you know, rationing, they could make it to Asgard, or at least try to keep face for two days. At least partially with the hope of Askeladd having their own rations to keep up the march. Because with that, you should be able to bet on being able to get back to your supplies. Maybe leave a small contingent there to protect them. But tell them you get the supplies from 
the prince, you get the prince, the supplies, everyone's head, and the fight. But that's just my thoughts. Anywho, you guys know the drill at this point. Stuff down below, do with it as you see fit. It's not going to be out by the time this gets released since I'm recording on November 30th. Which means... Welcome to the holiday season. Hope whatever you celebrate is having a wonderful time. That means I need to start figuring out Yule Logs. Anyway, again, you guys know the drill. Stuff down below, do with it as you see fit. And until next time, I'm Sven. And this is Elvin Prince, signing out.